Welcome back to Naples, Florida. Adam Bazaljad here, two-time PGA Teacher of the Year Award winner, founder of Scratch Golf Academy. Today, let's look at the setup, but especially posture. What is perfect posture? Stay tuned. Okay, so perfect posture, let's talk about that. If you like this video, by the way, subscribe to the channel. Would love to get you lots more free content coming your way. Joe Larson sent this question in. He wanted to talk about posture. So I hope this helps, Joe. And we're gonna look at two things that really good posture does for you. Number one, it keeps you in balance. How to get in balance, certainly. And number two, it gives you good mobility. Let's check it out. Okay, so regards balance, there's a natural balance point between hip joint and ankle joint that would hold true in everyday life and certainly should hold true in your golf posture. And if you can get off on the right foot and get started with this balance point in alignment, you're going to have a lot more success. Let me show you how that works. So there's normal posture standing up. If I draw a line up from the ankle joint, you'll notice it touches the ankle, the hip, and the shoulder. That's just good natural body alignment. And we want to keep those things when we set up in golf, or certainly keep the hips over the ankles. Now, my old boss David Ledbetter used to walk up to someone and give them a little shove in this direction if he thought they were off balance in their heels, or just a wee push in that direction if he thought they were in the toes, and it would teach them to be stable. But it starts with that hip over the ankle relationship there. Now you'll notice I've bent a little bit from the hips. That shows with a a bend there in the belt line. What we don't want to do is certainly bend from the upper body like that. And as far as knee flex, it's just a little bit. It's just enough to get the stiffness out of the knees. The main bend is in the hips. That's why my belt line looks tilted. And it's in such a fashion, again, that keeps that hip joint over that ankle joint. Let's have a look at a couple of factors then that affect mobility. Okay, so as we look at mobility and posture, let me just show you something. I encourage you to do the same at home. Take a seat in a chair, golf cart obviously. This stabilizes your hips, then crisscross your arms on your body. Now really strike a good solid pose and see how much you can pivot your shoulders against nearly no movement of your hips. And now slouch all the way over like you're lazily pecking at a computer. And you see how much reduction there is in the ability to turn there is a big difference. So factor that in as we look at how the spine is set up for mobility. Okay, so what is good straight posture for you? Well, you'll notice when you stand up straight in the best posture you could have if you were in military school or on parade or something, there's a very slight S curve in your lower spine. That's normal. And your shoulders would be back, hopefully, but not way artificially back. Those are two things we want to keep when we set up in golf. Here's a couple of challenges. A lot of times when people set up, particularly if they have spent their life at a desk, they'll create excessive S shape here, which is not good for your back, number one. And secondly, you'll feel completely disengaged in your abs. You can do that right here in front of the computer if you look at that. So you need enough engagement of your abs, enough sense of being ready to go that your back is not totally flat, but there's only a modest S shape there in your curve. So that would be number one, engage the abs to where you've just got a little bit of S shape. The second thing, we mentioned the shoulders being back in good alignment, good posture. When they're back, they're stable. They're much more apt to move and get out of sorts when they're rounded way forward from the spine. Diff difficulty though is when you bend forward, gravity is gonna start to pull them forward. So you have to engage these rhomboids, these upper back muscles, just a little bit to keep them back. Not unnaturally, but similar to what you had in your posture. So these are the two things you're really going to feel as you work on your posture. Engaged abs and a little pull back of the rhomboid so the shoulder blades are in solid position. And hey, if you bend from the hips from there, get yourself set up, you're going to be in your best natural body alignment. Two other things that give people confusion. How much should the hang head hang forward? Should it be up in line with the body? I don't think so. And also, how do you fit your posture where it doesn't maybe look like one of the stars on TV, but it's right for you? What's your body like? Let's have a look at a few great players and, and check this out. So there's Rory McIlroy in the blue and Fuzzy Zeller on the senior tour there in the white shirt. And we'd certainly see hip joints over ankle joints, but what looks dissimilar? Well, obviously posture looks somewhat dissimilar. Now let's touch on them one at a time. If we draw a line up Rory's back, and I don't think he can have much better posture than he has, or much more appealing posture, and one up Fuzzy's back, in both cases their head falls below that. 
it's natural for that to hang forward a bit. It's natural when you're looking down at the ball. Certainly wouldn't want to stick your chin on your chest. We're not saying that. But don't get your head so high and so far back that it's super uncomfortable for you. Next thing you could say, hey, they both bend from the hips. They're both in good balance, but their body styling is just different. Fuzzy's a lot older than Rory in that picture. He's just a little bit thicker of body more naturally, so they don't expect to look exactly the same, but they're getting the job done. If Fuzzy tried to get as ramrod straight as Rory, he probably wouldn't feel at all comfortable over the ball. Now let's have a look here. These are things you've got to practice in front of a mirror. You don't have to practice it for hours, but you have to practice it for minutes reasonably regularly. I've been around the tour pros a certain amount, and I promise you they do this. This is something you just don't want to get wrong as your posture. So in summary, we've got hips over ankles. That gets us on a good start to balance. There's just a slight S shape there. That means abs have to be engaged, and there's enough pull back in the shoulder blades to get those rhomboids engaged and not to let the shoulders hang forward too much. Just practice these things and you will be well on your way. Not only to great posture, but posture, posture that naturally fits and works for your body style. Well, I certainly hope you found this helpful. Again, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, would love to have you do that, get you all the free content coming. All the content's available at scratchgolfacademy.com, my website. There's a free course here for, for you on how to add distance. Take advantage of that. Either way, I hope this is helpful to you. I hope it builds you a better golf game. Thanks again.